shows in a row where awkward things happened that day, so I talked about it during the show, I called it story time with Tim, and then all of a sudden people in the audience started yelling out story time with Tim. <laughs> Next thing I know it's a segment that people want to hear, so do you want to hear this right now? Yeah! Okay. Well I'll at least tell you kind of how and why it got started. If you don't know the origin, um, we are performing at a... <laughs> We were performing at a casino uh, out in Connecticut. The casino is called the Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. Anyone heard of it? Yes! yes. Okay. Uh, there's a venue there called the Wolf's Den. And right in the middle of the casino, literally in the middle of the casino, no walls, no nothing, is just a venue that continues to pay us too much money to say no. <laughs> and the, the first time we were there, it was kind of a shock. Now we know what to expect. Um, they also treat us really well there, so we keep going back. But the show itself is so <coughs> weird. Has anyone ever seen us there? Okay. Well, if you ever get the chance, pass. <laughs> there's, there's literally animatronic wolves. And they howl at random. <laughs> Not great for an acapella show. Uh, but on top of that, again, we're in the middle of a casino. So there's slot machines everywhere and just casino noise. And, and so we learned that the hard way. The first time we went there, we tried to do a pretty ballad. And we're like, Ooh. And then you hear, <laughs> Oh! 
Already a really weird scene. Has nothing to do with this story, just wanted you to know that. They give us access to the employee dining room, which is a pretty good deal, because it's basically just all the food that's in the casino for free down below. Um, giant buffet. I'm a big fan of food, maybe you've heard that. And I really like unlimited free food. Something happened. What if I just ended the story right there? <laughs> so anyway, they gave us a card. They're like, here's a card. This will get you free, unlimited, whatever you want. It's like, great. So I'm going through the breakfast buffet. And you know, just loading up plate after plate like you do. And then I come to the end of the buffet and I find the pot of gold. The tub of bacon. But of course I immediately regretted everything I'd already put on my plate up to that point. So I had to get another plate just for the bacon. So I piled that up too. And then I get up to the cash register and the lady starts like scan, like entering anything, everything in one at a time, which I thought was kind of <laughs> weird. Because again, it's supposed to be free, but whatever. Um, and so then she a asks me a question. She says, how many bacons? <laughs> I was taken aback. I've never heard bacon pluralized that way. But also, it's not supposed to matter. So I was like, oh, you know, six or seven. Tongs full? <laughs> and she says, no, I need to know specifically how many bacons. <sighs> if that's your policy, fine. Eleven teens. But you need to let people know. You need to have a little sign by the bacons <laughs> that says... Well, at least I can continue this story without shouting. Anyway, you need to have a sign by the Bacons that says, All Bacons Sold Separately. Because not only would that have saved me some embarrassment at the cash register, it would have just helped me to make a better life decision, too, you know? So I've actually adopted that now, and it's kind of a motto that I carry with me as a reminder. So now I gift that to all of you folks. As we go our separate ways this evening and get on with our lives, remember Knoxville, count, count the bacons. bacons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Adam Rowe.